Uh, if you got a question, hit us up on Instagram, Twitter, and all the other social media sites that will be down in the description. Now, today we're going to be talking about the idea of never settling. We're going to start this video off with a Steve Jobs quote. As he says, as Steve Jobs says, stay hungry, stay foolish. Now, the stay hungry part pertaining to um, never being satisfied, there's no limit to what you can achieve, to always you know, push yourself to the, the next level of evolution, so to say. And the stay foolish part uh, more so pertains to giving it a go. Keep on um, going, no matter what uh, others say, no matter what people believe. Go against the grain. Don't be, don't be the norm. Don't accept the norm. Think differently. That's the, that's what I feel the stay foolish part is. Now you want to keep evolving. You want to keep on growing. You want to keep on learning. You never want to rest on your laurels because once you rest on your laurels and you feel that you've made it somewhere or you've reached some kind of end goal, then you stop growing, you stop learning, and you limit the possibilities of what greater things can happen to you. So a long time ago, I had a professor that told the entire class, students who go in already knowing how to draw, they tend to improve slowly, as opposed to students who are um, completely new. Now, that's that isn't always the case, but what she meant by that was that the students who go in learning how to draw, they spend their entire lives in high school and middle school resting on their laurels while while you have like their classmates like pleasing them. Oh, cool drawing. They stop growing. And as opposed to the newer student, they haven't really spent the rest of their lives resting on their laurels when it comes to drawing. And so newer students will be very fresh and brand new regarding the topic of drawing as opposed to uh, students who were resting on their laurels throughout middle school and high school and they find themselves at a hindrance when they're trying to evolve to the next level but again there this isn't always the case because there are some students who have drawn previously and are still motivated to challenge themselves to the next level but I guess what the professor was trying to convey was the the idea the idea of self motivation to constantly thrive for more so i see this in instagram art accounts a lot when they put on their bio that i'm still improving in some sense i get the feeling of that they feel that there's some kind of end goal as to where they stop improving but in reality you constantly improve even when you're at a point of your art looking well you constantly want to challenge yourself it's a constant goal of just challenging you know just improvement because that's the entire point of life anyway to just improve on the craft improve on yourself as a person you know just to, to improve that's that's just life i feel and you're constantly improving into you're dead and you can't function anymore that's when the improvement stops but as life goes on the goal is just to constantly improve and stay hungry keep thriving for the next level and i also feel that a life without improvement is a dead life you're pretty much dead if you're not constantly improving on certain aspects of your life certain aspects of your of your craft it's just dead because again like i said i feel personally that life is a constant state of improvement and that will be the video thank you guys thanks to you guys. oh thank you guys for watching uh hit the subscribe button below it's a red button and peace out